campus population is still growing in Oroville, and the Hope Center is low on donations now. Action News Now reporter Christina Vitali is live at the center with more on what's being done. This year, the, the donation center is low on men's clothes, and site manager at the Hope Center, Jennifer Alpern, says that's common because a large majority of the city's homeless population is male. The center is also looking for hygiene products, backpacks, and jackets, and it's always in need of non perishable food. Alpern has worked at the center for 10 years, and she says she's seen a jump in their service numbers. When I first started, we were serving uh, 12 to 1,500 people a month. And uh, out of this location, the Oroville location, we're serving at least uh, 33 to 3,500 a month. So um, the need has doubled. The Hope Center has been feeding clothing and helping their community for 15 years. Not only do they serve people who are homeless, but they help families who may be struggling before their next paycheck. Alpern says 40 to 50 percent of who they serve are homeless. To donate, the center is open Tuesday through Friday, 9 a.m. to 2.30 p.m., and you can pull up right over here to drop off your goods. Live in Oroville, Christina Vitali, Action News Now. Coverage you can count on. Thanks, Christina. Today, the Oroville Police Department donated 50 pairs of children's shoes to the Hope Center.